Testing, one, two, three. He is risen. Hallelujah. Celebrate the Savior. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory and the honor and the praise. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Praise be to God. We thank God from whom our blessings flow. We honor the King. We lift up the name of Jesus. Jesus says, if I be lifted up, I would draw all men unto me. This is a great day, hallelujah, because this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. We celebrate it as Resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. And uh, that's commendable. But if you don't understand the truth behind the resurrection, if you don't understand, hallelujah, what the resurrection means for us today, it's just a story in history. Praise be to God. But it's his story. Hallelujah. And when we begin to read his story of our Lord and Savior Jesus, we cannot exclude the Holy Spirit because it's the Holy Spirit who leads us and guides us into all truth. Hallelujah. Jesus arose on uh, uh, this early Sunday morning with all power and all authority in heaven and in earth. Hallelujah. But he took on the nature of sin. He who knew no sin, he became sin that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So if we are believers, it's him we live and move, in him we live and move and have our being. We thank God because of his death, burial, and resurrection. Praise be to God. We now have peace because the blood was shed. He went to Calvary. He shed his precious blood. Hallelujah. He came to redeem man from the curse of poverty, sickness, and death. Not just financial poverty, but spiritual poverty. Praise be to God. And when we begin to trust God, and when we operate in the blood of Jesus, it's the blood, praise be to God, that was shed on Calvary, hallelujah, that causes us to be uh, operating victory. He's Jehovah Nissi. We hold our banner of victory high because of the precious blood of Jesus, because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, the Bible says, by his stripes we are healed. We thank God for his healing power in the mighty name of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus Christ, Jehovah Jireh, every need of ours is met according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. You feel lonely? Hallelujah, the Bible says, hallelujah, because of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, he's forever present. He'll never leave us or forsake us. Hallelujah, he'll be with us always, even to the end of time as we know it praise be to god but there's no ending to god or what he can do hallelujah we thank god because of the blood of jesus hallelujah it's jehovah shalom he has peace he's our peace we are peaceful right now because of the precious blood of jesus oh we are so thankful for what god is doing today listen if you have not given your heart over jesus christ and and, and, and you're troubled and you're worried because of all the reports concerning the virus praise be to god the virus praise be to god it, 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 it and i'm not making light of it but there's a, a a a reason for the dark part of life and that's because of man's sin man was clothed in god's righteousness he ate the forbidden fruit and the bible says that you, when you eat that fruit in the day that you eat it you shall surely die and one of the things that happened to man was we died in our relationship to God. Not so much the physical death. That's going to happen. The Bible says, thus thou art and thus thou art to become. But we died in our relationship with him. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Man was moved out of the garden of Eden. But God had a plan. And Jesus was to come. I don't have much time today, but in the short time that I do have today, I want you to know that Jesus has a plan. Praise be to God for your life and for my life. Hallelujah. And it's through his son. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He says, as many as received him, to them gave you power to become sons and daughters of the Most High God. We have been hearing 
all kinds of reports, and rightfully so, from our president, from our, from our Congress, from our government, from governor, from our mayors, from the senators, on down, giving us a daily report as to what's going on and what's happening. But I want to tell you that God has given us a report. Whose report will you believe? Hallelujah. We shall believe the report of the Lord. And his report says, I'm healed, I'm free, I'm delivered, I'm saved. I'm brought out of the power of darkness into the marvelous light. Hallelujah. So we pray and we want to let everybody know that's sick and that's ill and have experienced death. Praise be to God. We want to uh, uh, give you a report, an update on what God has already promised. He promised us life and more abundantly. Praise be to God. And as we navigate through all these changes, praise be to God, you cannot navigate correctly without the word of God. I'm talking to believers. He says, as many as receive him to them gave me power to become sons. I'm talking to the sons, praise be to God, and the daughters. So we honor the king. We bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I have uh, family members who have the virus and also, praise be to God, uh, had uh, my cousin's husband passed away from the virus. Hallelujah. So I'm not ignorant to what's happening. I'm not one who has closed my eyes to death and sorrow and pain. Praise be to God. But I, my eyes and my spiritual eyes are open to what God has done on Calvary. I shout out about when he shed his precious blood for you and for me. Healing took place. Hallelujah. Not just physical healing, but healing of our heart. Hallelujah. Our spirit, our spirit, our mind, renew our mind daily. We have the mind of Christ. And our spirit man, praise be to God, hallelujah, takes control of our hearts and our lives. And we walk in the spirit so we don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. And so as we trust God, as we believe God, and as we understand what God has done for us, praise be to God, we walk in the newness of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be not dismayed, whatever be tied. God will take care of you. God is still in control. Amen. And this is an update. Hallelujah. All the updates you've been getting, you're going to hear a lot of updates today. You're going to hear some powerful men and women of God preaching the gospel. Young men, young ladies, old, young. They're going to tell you some good news. Receive it. Receive it. And how do you know it's from God? Through the power of the Holy Spirit. How do you know it's from God? That you go back and study and read it. How do you know it's from God? Because you have a relationship with him. How do you get this relationship? Romans 10 and 9 says that thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus Christ with thy mouth and believe in the heart that he died and rose from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Jesus saves ministries. Thank you for looking at this uh, broadcast. Hallelujah. And our post office box number 7, Shelton, Connecticut. Post Office Box number 7, Shelton, Connecticut, 06484. And our uh, website is www.stg.org. Uh, uh, ha um, hallelujah. Tag ct Hallelujah. And we pray that you would give your time in prayer and substance, we pray that you would trust God. We pray that you would contact us. A number is 203-538-5834. 203-538-5834. Again, that's Post Office Box 7, Hallelujah, Shelton, Connecticut, 06484. Hallelujah. We pray that you would trust God. Hallelujah. In all that you're doing, lean out to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. What a resurrection day it is. Praise be to God. God's word is being resurrected in the hearts of so many people who have forgotten him, who have pushed him to the side, who have gotten around religion and not about relationship. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would trust and believe God today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father God, we thank you for every listener. We thank you for your spirit, your power, your anointing that destroys every yoke. We pray that we would meditate on God's word, study God's word. You said study to show that self approved unto God. A workman needing not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We meditate on your word day and night, observing to do all according that is written therein. You said then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, then thou shalt have good success. We give God the praise. Amen.